Well, there's a lot of people new to handguns and to concealed carry. A lot of people get the permits to try to figure out how to do it. Well, my idea is to keep list, keep it as simple as I can. That is why I carry a revolver, and for all you people that say, yeah, is it unloaded? It's unloaded. And for a holster choice, I choose an open top holster, no magic switches or, or buttons or anything, and it's just leather, basic as can be. And well, since if you watch my other video, videos, you know that I, I dabble in leather work a little bit, so I make my own stuff. Also, part of that is to have a good belt, a good sturdy belt. Now, your belt should be able to support itself without sagging. Or at least not be able to bend it long ways. A good supportive belt goes a long ways toward concealed carry comfort. Also, I carry a little flashlight, my own little belt holder here. It's nothing fancy, it's just a Brinkman. It's a Brinkman flashlight my wife got for me a long time ago. You push the button on one end and light comes out the other end and it's plenty bright for me. Got my pocket knife. It's an assisted opening knife that I got at a pawn shop for ten dollars. I sharpen it the same way I sharpen my leather working tools. Just run it across the strop every now and then keeps a good enough edge, good enough for me. Plus, I carry a couple couple of reloads. Why two reloads? Well, I don't figure that I'm going to be in an, any kind of extended firefight, but I do know that if I ever have to use this guy. Once I've taken care of whatever problem I need to use them for, I want to be able to replace the expended cartridges. If it's all five, I want to be able to replace all five so I'm not standing there unarmed. Um, I figure if with the adrenaline flowing and, and excitement and all that, that there's a good chance that I may bobble and drop a cartridge or two while I'm trying to reload. And if that happens, I'll just grab the next strip and use that and pick up the dropped cartridges later anyway that's my gear and um, I guess now I'll do some modeling for you okay now when I'm watching videos about these guys that show how they conceal carry and they stand there like that and they go oh look see you can't see the gun well that's fine but who the hell walks around like that Seriously, um, this is usually basically all I wear. I go out like this. I got my gun tucked into my side right here. Over here, got my flashlight. In this pocket, I got my reloads. And over here, I got my pocket knife. Now aside from the keys in my wallet, this is basically how I go about concealed carry. Now, This could be a flannel shirt or any other kind of loose fitting shirt and you'll be fine. I like to have a shirt with a pattern on it because it does help to break up the outline. But if I go like that, it does poke out a little bit. Now, whatever shirt I wear, I wear generally wear a tank top underneath. Now in the summer when it gets hot, I'm wearing just a tank top, but still, I carry my gear the same way. I just untuck my shirt. This goes over top of there. And there you go. Yeah, it sticks out a little bit. But you know what? People are carrying so much junk on their belt nowadays, nobody will notice. If you look back at my videos, you'll see a cell phone pouch I just made. That's to be made, that's to be worn on a belt. And that would poke out under anything so anyway in the summer this is it maybe wear a pair of shorts or something but other than that it's no big deal no big mystery how to go about concealed carrying